Hello my lovelies and welcome back. Today it's all about the best and new makeup from Charlotte Tilbury. We're gonna do a full face. Let's begin. Let's start with her beautiful skin foundation. I've tested this a while back and I still really enjoy it. It's definitely a heavier, more hydrating foundation. So a little bit goes a long way, but I think if you're looking for that healthy, glowy, plump looking skin, I think this you will really enjoy this. If you have very oily skin, you can still wear this, but maybe set it with a nice pore minimizing, shine controlling setting spray setting powder, but I do like this without a primer as well. And that's what I'm gonna be using today without a primer. I'm in shade two neutral. I'm gonna use a brush and then use a sponge if I need to kind of blend in a little bit more. My favorite, <laughs> Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush. It blends in really, really nice. And with testing this foundation past almost two months, I think maybe even more, I found that, like I said, a little bit goes a long way because of the heavier consistency. And it gives a really nice coverage. It's supposed to be more of like a light to medium coverage, but if you do build it up, you can get a solid medium coverage. When I mean a solid medium coverage, I mean it kind of conceals most of imperfections like redness, pimples, scarring, uneven skin tone, things like that, but it doesn't look heavy on the face. It doesn't look like a mask. I mean, you saw the minimal amount that I applied to my skin, like that half a pump, and it did a beautiful job. And it does leave your skin looking very healthy, very glowy, radiant, fresh, plump. Mm. Beautiful, so healthy looking and glowy. So for brow pencil, this is her brow cheat and it's a refillable pencil where you just buy this first, the entire thing, and then you can just refill your actual product, your eyebrow pencil. And it comes with a spoolie as well. And I like the shade Soft Brown. It's a really nice neutral shade. And this brow pencil has, a, it's, it's really creamy, it's pigmented, but it kind of reminds me of the ABH where it has a little bit of that gripping adhesion to your brows technology. I call it technology, it's just the formula. But it's creamy, but it doesn't just kind of sl like slip and slide everywhere. It, it grips to your brow hairs and to your skin underneath, which I really like. And you can apply this after you've applied makeup. And you just need to have the lightest pressure because they are pretty pigmented. To set my brows, I'm gonna use the Brow Fix. It's a 24 hour brow gel. Put the condition and then set your brows in place. It's a clear formula. This formula is kind of in between the Benefit 24 hour brow gel and a little bit of the Patrick Ta sculpting brow gel. You kind of have to work with this product. Apply it first through your brows give it a couple of 20 to 30 seconds to set and then go back through and really define your shape. Now let's play with some of her newer products. This is a new concealer, concealer that she just recently launched. I think it was last week, but I just got it in the mail this week. This right here is their Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. It's supposed to have a medium buildable coverage, 16 hours of wear. It's supposed to conceal, correct, brighten, and lift the look of your skin, which is nice. Another thing that I read online, it says it's supposed to be sweat proof, humidity proof, and waterproof. It was 33 or is $33 and I picked up two shades, three fair and four fair. Four fair, three fair. Three fair is lighter and it has a little bit more of that pink undertone versus four fair, it's more neutral. Oh, they actually have a thicker consistency as well. Kind of like the healthy, the beautiful skin foundation, but it looks like it's blending in really nice. Let's go in with For Fair. Kind of want to start lighter just because it is a thicker consistency. I don't want it to look heavy under the eyes. So I'm not gonna um, put too much. I feel like that's already too much. I'm gonna let it do its thing, let it warm up a little bit on the skin. And let's move on to contour, bronzer, things like that. So one of my favorite products that I've tried lately from her would be her cream bronzer. This is a glow bronzer, but I do wanna use her contour wand, just to add a little bit more of that depth to my cheekbones. And this right here is her, 
It's just literally the contour wand. And I think it's one of the only liquid contours on the market that actually does a great job. The only thing I will say my biggest issue with this is the packaging. I don't, something with it, it just gets so dirty. So I do have to constantly clean it. And another thing, if you don't blend it out or you just let it sit there, it kind of does stick to your skin. So I do like to blend it out kind of right away. My F1 brush, I'm just gonna start working this in. And this, I do like to blend either with a brush or a dampened sponge, depending on how much product I apply. But I do like this for that very soft, subtle contour. You can do also very buildable, really layer this product on, but it is very beautiful. And because it's a liquid, it does last a really long time because of that formula, the way it dries down. That's why I like to work one side at a time with this product because it does dry down really nice. You can see that was really easy to blend. I'm not going to do the forehead. I'll do the forehead with the cream bronzer, but let's blend out the concealer. Ooh, okay. And it warmed up really nice with the warmth of my skin. Oh, okay, that's blending out really nice. From swatching it, it had really like a thicker consistency and that's why I kind of left it there to warm up. Wow, okay, that's a dream to blend. And I do like the color. Matches my skin tone really nice, but it still brightens and color corrects, conceals to a point where I want it to conceal and it's not looking heavy. Oh, that's blending out really nice with the finger. I like that. I'm gonna add a little bit more to the outer portion. That's very glowy. This is too glowy for you. She also came out with a new brightening powder for under the eyes or for your face. So this right here is the new airbrush brightening flawless finish. It's supposed to brighten, blur, and have that lifting effect. Targets dark, dark circles and shadows. So that's what I was thinking. What What's the difference between the new one and her iconic setting, setting setting powder, the airbrush flawless finish. This right here is more for the face and this right here all over the face. And this is more for those areas where you want to brighten and just illuminate, not illuminate, brighten and lift. There you go, brighten and lift. The difference, it's beautiful. I mean, this is also very beautiful, very healthy, very radiant. This right here, it's a little bit softer. It's not as intense. So if you wanna add a little bit of warmth, that glowy, beautiful, sun-kissed look, I recommend her cream bronzer. Honestly, I don't have to use the contour with this product because the color range is actually really nice. It kind of sculpts, softly sculpts, but also gives that really nice bronzy warmth to your complexion. And I can, you, I personally like to use it with a dampened sponge, uh, brush, it's my F1, <laughs> but I'm just gonna show you guys with the sponge. And it is more of a buildable type of a formula, which I like. You can go heavy handed with it if you build up the product, but it's really nice. It blends out really, really well. And then you can also use her matte powder bronzer, massive pan. Huge, but I like that it's thin. The only thing I will say, you don't have to use all of these bronzers, contours together. I'm just showing you as many products as I can in this video. I usually don't pair this many products, but sometimes, you know what? You just wanna apply a little bit more. I like this one right here because it does give you that airbrush, really flawless, bronzy look. And I have shade number two, medium. It is very powdery, so you kind of have to work it into the brush. I'm gonna stamp it first and then gently just sweep. And this does help set that cream bronzer if you wanna make sure it doesn't go anywhere. This, pro this one is nice and buildable or you can go very heavy with it if you prefer. For blush, I'm gonna take her Cheek to Chic, the Swish and Pop Blusher. It's like a two-tone blush. This one is in First Love. It's both like more peachy tones and you just kind of work them all together or just work them together into the brush. This is the Rose and Ben C41 blush brush and it's, again, one of my favorites. These blushes are very easy to work with. They're pretty pigmented, but they're also buildable. They don't do anything to accentuate the texture in my cheeks. 
they're just beautiful and they have a really nice longevity. They wear really well. For eyeshadow, I do like her Eyes to Mesmerize, the mousse formula. It's really stunning. Particular shade is Oyster Pearl. It's $34. She calls it her foolproof formula, which I agree. You can use your finger and literally just swipe it on your eyes and then just blend, 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 tap, 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 and it's good to go. I like to use a brush for this, but you can just use your fingers. This brush that I'm using is by Rare Beauty. I'm gonna take it on the lower lash line. For eyeliner, I'm gonna take her Pillow Talk eyeliner. It's supposed to be blendable and long lasting, and it's literally in the shade Pillow Talk. It kind of looks like a lip liner. Honestly, why not? You could use it as a lip liner. But I like wearing this eyeliner in the fall, just because the color is just mm, so beautiful. Okay, this right here is one of the few products from Charlotte Tilbury that I don't like. It just doesn't work with my lashes. It's heavy, it smudges, it transfers on me, and it's just, I don't like it. This is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara, 29 US dollars. I have the super black, and it says, <laughs> It's supposed to be smudge proof, humidity proof, and no lash curlers needed. In my opinion, because it's so heavy of a formula, at least for my lashes, I do need an eyelash curler. So this is what the wand looks like. Very, very different. On two sides, it's flat with no bristles. And then when you turn it up or down, whichever way you're looking at it, you can see tiny little uh, silicone rubber style bristles. They get shorter towards the tip and kind of get a little bit longer tapered towards the center or towards the end. And they also get shorter towards the end. So it's very intriguing. So it's saying for the maximum amount to lift and apply the formula, you hold it horizontally and you kind of hold it to your tips and just kind of push it through and then use the bristles to comb. For lip liners and lipstick, obviously we have to use her lip cheat and then her lipsticks. So I'm gonna show you two different lip liners that I like colors. So the first one is Iconic Nude. I think this one is my most used from her. It's just a really nice neutral, gives a nice little definition to my lips, but it's not too intense. And this is Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk, it's definitely more pink, more rosy. Let's go with Pillow Talk. I added a little bit of Iconic Nude to add just a tad bit of depth, <laughs> just to, you know, voluminize my lips a little bit. So right here I have, I like these two shades right here. First one is, of course, the Iconic Pillow Talk lipstick. Nice and pink. It's a beautiful everyday type of a lipstick. I, I think it's stunning. And then this one is Kim KW. Kim K, it's definitely very bright. This one I like to apply if I'm going to do more of a lip liner, lipstick look, kind of fill in my entire lip, and then apply a little bit of this in the center to kind of plump them up even more. And these are a nice cream texture and finish. I would say they are a good satin finish, but they're definitely more creamy. They're not the most long wearing formula, but the lip liner is pretty long wearing. You might be thinking, where is the Hollywood Flawless Filter? To be honest with you, it's not my favorite. I like it as more of a highlighter or mixed in with more of my matte foundations. Very little amount of it, but I just, on my skin, it just exaggerates every texture, every pore. I don't like it as like a filter for my face, but I am gonna take a little bit of this and apply it right there. Sponge and just work this in. But I do like this as a really nice soft glow from within type of a highlighter. Isn't that pretty? Like that is stunning. But this all over my face, it just, it does not work with my skin type. Also mix this in with a really heavier, more of a matte concealer as well. It's really stunning. It gives that beautiful radiant look. I'm gonna take a little bit of her original airbrush setting powder on a little puff. Work this in and just gently go over areas where I didn't use the other powder And this just kind of smooths everything out makes everything softer and just somehow seamlessly brings Everything together and to set my face the airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day $36 And it does have a scent, but it's, it's pleasant 
not as intense. I wanted to do this video because Charlotte Tilbury has been going viral lately on social media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, everything pretty much. And I wanted to pick up her new products to try as well because I do enjoy a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products. They feel very luxe. And I also enjoy watching Charlotte Tilbury as a makeup artist. Just the way she talks about her own brand, her own makeup, it's just, it's so incredible, it's so inspiring. And you can see that she really does have a passion and she loves like every single makeup product. They're like her little kids. It's the cutest thing ever. I wanted to show the products that I actually enjoy from her line and her makeup, but also products that did go viral, are viral, and just kind of how I use them. I think I wanna do a little update to see how the concealer wears and how I like it with the powder because I do like this powder a lot. It definitely brightened, but it's not, it doesn't look fake under the eyes. It doesn't look heavy. It's not doing anything weird to the concealer. So I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna leave it here. I'll keep you guys updated throughout the day. I might just do the one update in the night, but I'll see you in a little bit. Everything's looking good, except for the mascara is transferring the lower lash line, as you can see. What I already told you is it transfers on me pretty bad, heavily and also flakes at me, but everything else looks really nice. I'm looking a little glowy in the forehead, but that's the foundation. It's very healthy looking type of a foundation, but I think I'm gonna set a little bit with the original air, the airbrush flawless setting powder. Instead of the brightening one, I'm gonna use the original one. Okay, quick little update. I really wanna see what the skin is looking like under the eyes. I'm seeing a lot of flaking from mascara, but like I told you guys, this mascara flakes on me. So I'm gonna wipe that away, just gentle. I tried not to really touch the mascara throughout the day because I didn't really want to mess with the mascara, um, <laughs> the concealer. That's it's a pretty nice concealer. It's a little crepey in the inner corner. Let me show you guys, because I kind of tend to do this especially when it's like sunny, which was pretty sunny today. You can see the crepiness in that inner corner right there. If anything, I would say just to myself in the future, when I'm gonna wear this again, concealer, maybe blend it out right away and then set it right away. I think that's what I would like. And then obviously um, prep my under eyes, which I did have moisturizer underneath right here underneath my um lower on my lower lash line but it's actually not that bad i'm i'm looking at kind of my skin and my texture where i powdered with that brightening powder it's actually looking pretty good it's not looking heavy at the end of the day i'm liking it on the forehead obviously it's a little bit oily but again i'm wearing that healthy foundation like i told you guys it's definitely more radiant and it does break apart of me but it's actually looking really pretty. Right here on the cheeks, still see the bronzer, still see the blush. Yeah, pretty happy with how most everything is wearing. But I did, I mean, I mean, most of this makeup has been in my collection already for quite some time, so I really know how it wears. But I was really curious about that concealer and that brightening powder, and I actually like both. I'm gonna keep wearing them, uh, try them with different formulas, different bases, and different things like that, and see how well they wear, but I'm pretty happy with both products so far. I like that they're not heavy, and they don't look extra heavy on my skin as the day wears on, and this is well over 12 hours of wear time on my face, and I'm very happy that even after 12 hours, my face looks like this with very minimal touching and kind of like retouching my skin but yeah thank you guys for joining me and i'll see the next one very soon bye